Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've had quite a lot of comments on my recent videos asking what overlay I'm using, which gave me the idea to create this video showing its features and how I use it to help me in game. This is in my opinion, the best app slash overlay currently out there, and it has so many great features to go through. So let's get into it. So the app is Meta TFT, and its overlay is just one of the many great features that has helped me during games. Some of the features I'm gonna go through, I haven't seen in any other app or overlay currently out there. But if you know of any others with these features, then let me know in the comments below as I'd love to check them out. And just as a disclaimer, I have no affiliation with this app. I'm just a big fan and I genuinely believe that it has helped me improve and I think that it could help others too. So the first and in my opinion, the most powerful feature it has is lobby scouting. As soon as the game starts loading, the app will pull the profiles of every player in the lobby, review their match history and then tag them. These tags range from certain comps that player usually plays whether it's their first game of the day, if they're on a win or lose streak, or even if they're a one trick. This is extremely powerful, as although you could do this yourself, it would take quite a while to look at every single player during the loading screen just to see what they play. They also provide you this summary showing the most slash least contested units based on what the lobby plays, so you have a good idea of what comps might be least contested. As someone who likes finding and playing underplayed comps, this was perfect for me as I now go into each game with a few comps in mind that I can look out for to be uncontested with. Speaking of comps, their comps page also changes based on your lobby too. For example, if a specific comp is more likely to be contested based on the players in your lobby, it will show a little symbol next to the comp name showing you that the pick rate for this is higher than the average. The comp page in general is one of the most detailed I've seen compared to the other solutions. It shows the usual stats that the majority of others do, such as win rate, average place, and pick rate, but it goes even further and breaks down the comp at every level. Starting with the early game, you can see three suggested starts along with their round win rate, allowing you to select whichever level you want to see different variations you can go for. One area I particularly like for this is the custom headliner option, which allows you to select the headliner trait you have active, and it will show you the version of the comp for that specific headliner. This is particularly good if you're playing a comp and looking for a specific trait of the headliner you want, but get the other version and you're unsure how to play it. The next area of the comp detail shows you the usual positioning and carousel priority information that most others use, but it also shows you the average amount of shop refreshes at each level too. This is great for players who are unsure how much they should be rolling and at what level for specific types of comps, but I will say that all of these stats are averages, so don't take this as a hard rule. Another key area I use is the Augments and Portals tab, which shows you the average pick and placement rates of Augments. Being able to look at the placement rates of Augments for a specific comp easily like this is very useful, as looking at the average placement rates across all comps can make it seem like an Augment isn't good. For example, if you look at the stats of Heroic Grab Bag across all comps, it's not going to look that great, but if you look at it in a specific reroll comp such as 8-Bit Riven, it's actually very good. And just a neat little thing to note here as well is that you can actually send the comp to your team planner by clicking this little button at the top right of the comp, which will save you a little bit of time in putting it yourself when you're in a game. Next up, we have another insanely powerful feature I haven't seen in other apps, which is the match breakdown report within the match history tab. The breakdown itself is only available if you played a match with the app open, so you'll only see it once you start playing games after having it running. The first page shows a summary of the game at the early, mid and late stages of the game, along with a summary of your econ and planning. This is great for improving your scouting in particular, as it shows you your average scouting time per round, and if it's low, it will tell you. As soon as I saw my summary showing poor scouting, I made sure in games going forward, I made an effort to improve it, which has definitely helped in certain situations. Next, we have the timeline page, which shows you a breakdown of every round in the game, showing you how much health and gold you have, how many times you rolled your shop, how much damage you gave or received from winning or losing the round, and how long you spend scouting for that round too. I usually only look into this page in detail for games where I go bot 4 and want to look into the overall flow of the game to see where it all went wrong, to see how I could have improved, but there is actually an even more useful page for this which is the round detail page. This gives you a visual representation of each round in the game along with what you had on your bench, units in your shops, and how many times you saw a certain unit across any shop refreshes too. This page is probably overkill for the majority of players, but for players who love to analyze how a game went and how they can improve, it's perfect. And finally, my favorite part of the match breakdown is the shop analysis. 
If you're like me and sometimes feel like you absolutely low rolled in a certain game and should have hit your units way earlier, this page is where you come to get some validation for your beliefs. This page tells you the expected number of a specific unit you should have seen at each round of the game versus how many you actually seen, and then produces an RNG score. This doesn't really help you improve your gameplay, but it can be useful to feel a bit better about yourself. Next up we have the early game page, which provides insights into the opening comps of the game. The page displays various opening board options, each with data important for making decisions, win rates, final placement rates, and play rates. This information helps in understanding not just popular choices, but also effective ones. For instance, when considering a board setup, you can quickly see its potential for win streaking and its overall effectiveness based on statistics. It then goes one step further when you select one of these opening boards as it shows possible transition paths. This is helpful if you start strong but are unsure about your mid-game strategy. It suggests alternative boards to consider, helping to maintain your early advantage as the game progresses. Itemization is also covered on this page. It advises on which items work best with the units in your chosen opening board and will help you get a good understanding of what is and isn't a strong board. Whether you're experienced in TFT or just starting out, the early game page is a useful tool for mastering the opening rounds. A strong start is crucial in TFT and this page helps to achieve that. And for the overlay itself, there are three key features of this I want to mention. First up is the lobby summary. This is a quick snapshot of the game lobby similar to what I mentioned at the start of the video. It shows the average rank of all players, which is good to know right off the bat. But what's really interesting is the damage type breakdown. Based on the comps people are playing, it will tell you if the lobby is leaning towards AD damage, AP damage, or if it's a mix of both. This can really influence your strategy. Plus it shows you the 5 most contested units and the 5 least contested units based on what everyone has been playing. Super useful for planning your picks and counters. I personally don't use this as I have a second monitor and prefer to use the more detailed in-game page on the app, but for those of you with one monitor and want to get as much information as possible whilst in-game, I think you'll find this useful to get a quick breakdown of the type of lobby that you're in. Next is augment selection. I'm pretty sure most other TFT overlays have this too, but I think it's worth talking about either way as it's very useful regardless of which app you use. When you're choosing between three augments, the overlay steps in with some extra info. It gives each augment a rating, like A, B, C, and so on, along with average placements for that augment. This helps a lot picking the best one, and it even tells you what units are commonly played with each augment, or if it's versatile enough to fit into multiple comps. This doesn't mean you should go into a game and pick whichever augment has the best average placement, as again, it's just an average, and it entirely depends on what units and items you have. The last feature is estimating your chances of winning a round. Whenever you enter a round, the overlay briefly shows a percentage chance of whether you'll win based on your board versus your opponents. I'm still not entirely sure how this can be helpful, or even if I like it, as sometimes it can be very wrong, but sometimes it can be fun to see what it thinks, so for now I've kept it enabled. If you don't like it or any of the other features, you can simply turn them off in the settings page of the app. And finally I want to touch on a few other pages that are part of the app, but are available on most other TFT sites. Units, Items and Explorer. These pages offer similar functionalities to what you might have seen on something like tactics.tools, but I've found this has a more user-friendly interface. First, the units page. This is where you can get into the nitty gritty of each unit in TFT. It shows you not just their basic stats, but also real game performance like win rates, pick rates, and average placements in final comps. It's perfect for getting a handle on which units are great in the current meta and which ones might be flying under the radar. Next up is the items page. Just like the units, this page breaks down every item in the game, but it goes beyond just listing items and their stats. You get to see how each item influences gameplay, with insights into win rates when equipped, popular combinations, and best champion synergies. This page is a real asset for making the most out of your components. And finally we have the explorer page. It lets you drill down into stats based on specific criteria that you give. Say you want to know the average placement of a 2 star Z with Edge of Night and the Not Today augment. The Explorer page lets you do just that. The depth of analysis you can achieve here is very impressive, allowing you to explore specific scenarios and strategies in detail. While the data on these pages is similar to what you'd find on tactic.tools, the ease of navigating and the overall user flow in this app is in my opinion much easier. Since I started using this app, I haven't gone back to tactic.tools. For anyone serious about TFT, these pages are invaluable as they give you a more comprehensive view of the game, enabling more informed and strategic gameplay. 
And that's it for this guide. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing for more TFT content.